I really feel like this, all this stuff is happening for me, not to be like so annoying bragging, you know, rubbing it in like your sad lives face, but <laughs> all this stuff is really happening for me and I very much understand it's only happening because I was born in this time period. Do you know, I'm very much like um, a byproduct of my generation and I could only be thriving in the same time period that Cardi B is thriving. Do you know that, do you know what I mean? <laughs> we're, we're kindred spirits and I was just so meant to be alive now. I'm very grateful I was not going to high school in the Renaissance wearing a fucking petticoat to school. <laughs> Imagine the chub rub <laughs> in a petticoat, no thank you. Or like a corset, the under boob sweat, oh my God, I'm gonna faint just thinking about it. No, I'm loving everything like the millennium has to offer me. Like I am the number one customer on Uber, Seamless, Grubhub, Lyft, like I use it all. If 2020 is a buffet, I'm fucking taking everything. I act like I normally do at any buffet and I take it all. I'm enjoying all the things the millennium has to offer me. It's like, I'm enjoying all the fruits of the millennial's labor, you know? It's similar to how Kourtney Kardashian, she enjoys all the fruits of her family's labor. <laughs> the only difference, of course, is that I'm grateful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shots fired. <laughs> but I'm one of those people who very much like has her head permanently shoved up her own ass. Everybody knows a person like that. I'm really only concerned myself with things that concern me. And that's the way I choose to live my life. But every now and then I will kind of, you know, take my head out of my own ass, which is actually not that hard because I'm super flexible. <laughs> not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll kind of look around at the state of the world. And I'm sure you guys know this because you live in the real world, but I just got here and I'm here to tell you the real world, woof in shambles, like the world is falling apart and like apparently everyone's been talking about it, I just haven't been hearing about it. And I low key like wanna get involved and like help and be like philanthropic and stuff, you know? Actually no, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I just wanna like say I'm gonna do it and then put it on my Instagram but not actually do anything, you know? <laughs> and it's kinda, it's 2020, it's an important election year and I'm really feeling like, what is it, like 30,000 people are running for president? Why don't I throw my hat in the race? <laughs> I've got some really good ideas. No, I would actually rather die than work for four years straight, but <laughs> I'm kind of like girl with no job. So no, actually, no. I mean, it'd be cool to be like famous and the president, but it sounds like a lot of work. Maybe if they could let me do like a two week term where I obviously have both Fridays off because I'm not Rebecca Black. I do not get down on Friday. 